Hey friends, today I am at the Art of Animation Resort because I want to get some breakfast at the Landscape of Flavors, their food court inside, because I hear it's amazing breakfast and I've never had it before. So we're going to do that and also check up on some of the construction they got going on inside the lobby because it looks like a maze in there. So let's go do this. The Art of Animation, which is one of my favorite lobbies, is actually under refurbishment and they have a big blue wall to match their big blue pool. And uh, we're gonna go navigate through the wall. And yeah, I said that right. We're gonna navigate through the wall because even though they have this actually up, they have little spots that you can walk through like a little maze so you can get to like the restrooms, the arcade and stuff like that. And I think it's kind of nifty. So we'll take a little stroll through the wall so we can get to the arcade. Very nifty. Hey, you have to give it to them. At least they didn't close everything down. They just give you these narrow pathways. Then we got this little hidden door to get to the restrooms. <laughs> I like it. It's so funny. And look, they look like they might be painting something soon in here. Oh, maybe I'll get some water. It's really not that big of inconvenience. It's only blocking like five feet of the hallway. So, I mean, you still have access to all of the amenities, but it just seems so funny. Now that we showed off a little bit of the construction out front, let's get to the good stuff. The landscape of flavors. I hear really good things about this food court, so I'm very excited. I've been inside here before, but I've never actually had breakfast. So this should be a delightful treat. Look at some of these right here. Oh, wow. Breakfast sandwiches, vegetarian breakfast sandwiches, world of flavors breakfast platter. Wow, I like it. Oh, chicken fried steak platter. That looks pretty good. They also have create your own omelets, egg right fritas, pancakes, chocolate chip pancakes, and character shaped waffles that aren't just Mickey waffles, even though we all love Mickey waffles. They have a little twist on these ones because they're not just Mickey. They have everything in different stations. So for instance, this is the waffle station, then you got the create your own omelet station and the French toast station. So we're gonna see what the actual characters are for the waffles. Oh, good, good. What kind of characters? Oh, Lion King, Nemo, and I like it. Oh, Ariel, too. Fancy. I just wanted to see what the characters were. <laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> that was kind of funny because I really wasn't interested in getting waffles. I really did just want to see which characters were on the waffles. And uh, they have a good, good amount. They have Ariel, the Cars characters, Lion King. I like it. I want to point out something kind of cool that I noticed too. You notice sometimes inside the dining room area here it gets very busy and there could be some long lines actually to get some food. But they got you covered because they have hot breakfast sandwich. Grab and go. Grab and go. Look at that. They even have little tiny kids sandwiches. Cheese omelet on ciabatta. Bacon and cheese omelet on ciabatta. I like it. But of course, the thing that I actually do want to get has the longest line, and that's the French toast. Look at that Chala French toast. I think I'll get mine with some fresh fruit. Another thing I see there is they have Nana bread, and it's only $1.59. So I'm curious of what that is, and I'm probably going to get it. Well, that's a little strange. They got some bottles of Moscato for breakfast. Uh, powdered sugar, yes. Oh boy, look at that. And that's the Nana bread. I'm excited to try that. Now I gotta find a place to sit down and eat. But it looks way too crowded over here. I think I'm gonna go over to the Lion King section. Because it was really pretty over there. Oh yeah, way better over here. 
But look, there's actually tons of open tables. Just look how good that French toast looks. And this Nana bread, which I don't even know what is, but I'm excited. The whole breakfast only cost $9. But who are they kidding? One thing of syrup for two pieces of French toast? I don't think so. I'm going to need at least three or four. Look at that. The fruit has like strawberries, blueberries, and mandarin it looks like. But that's probably going to be really good. So I'm going to actually try a little bit of this and that together. I tell you what, the French toast is actually really nice and fluffy and buttery. And I'm a big French toast fan. I mean, I love some French toast. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I like it a lot. I love pouring syrup on French toast. You have to be very careful when you're actually eating things and vlogging with syrup because if any of that syrup gets on your power button, your camera is stuck for a very long time. So now I'm gonna try the Nana bread, but it just seems like it's a warm pita. I don't know. Huh? Yeah, it's like a warm pita. And I guess it's better to have that than toast because it's served with the uh, landscape of flavors breakfast platter. And uh, you would think like a breakfast platter would come with like some kind of toast or a biscuit, but it's actually uh, this Nana bread that it comes with. So I bet you that's really good with eggs. A little pleasant surprise, but the Nana bread and a little bit of syrup tastes pretty delicious. Mission complete. Look at that. That was good. And now that we're done with breakfast, I guess it's time to burn off those French toast calories. I'll take five minutes, please. I hope you guys had fun, and uh, I guess that's gonna do it for me. So, uh, love the life you live, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Uh...